front end, he goes on down drop. Stop 31. Start this one up at 60. Start at 50. See how much more people are on this man. Ooh, how 40. Okay. 40, I'm gonna 40, 40, 40. That's 40 at 40. One. One, yes, at 41, 41, at a bit of 41, and two, at 43, 43, and four, yeah. right, four, at a bit of four, and five, and six, and seven, 47, 47 in the rear, and nine, 49, at 49 in the front, 49, one, at 51, and two, 52, at 52 in the front, and you have to 52 in the front, all three at 52, yes, and he drops to 51, about 34, Start this one off at 70. 70 right here. At 70, 2, and 4, and 6. 6 and 8. 70, yeah, 78. 80. 2, 4, 6. 88. 94. 94. 94 and 6. And 8. Yes? 100? Yes, 100 in the rear. 100 in the rear. 2 at 102. 102. Bobby, 102. All through at 104. At 104. And he mentions 104. All through at 104. At 106. At 106. Bobby, and he mentions 106. All through at 106. Today I want to talk a little bit about coyotes because the market's really strong and I know there's a lot of interest by trappers on different types of coyotes and uh, what we're going to talk about for, for a little bit is coyotes in some different grades and sections and I'll show you some low end stuff when the guys get disappointed in getting only a couple of bucks for, for coyotes so that's what I want to try and show you today. Okay, so this is the top lot of coyotes, the first lot that sold it's a $300 lot. Of course it's a bit of a show lot but it's, it's uh, eight skins. Very heavy. When I do the old pencil test, you can see I bury the pencil right in it pretty deep. Okay? And when you see it up against the semi heavy bundle, these are what we call semis. Okay? So when you look at the weight of it, you can see them when you stack them up. You can see, kind of see the difference between how thick a heavy is compared to a semi. So that, these are western goods section. And then you have down here we have uh, eastern coyotes. An eastern coyote and a heavy, slightly heavier than a than a, a semi, but it, the colors are really different. That's the thing that really throws off. And the fur is much coarser. So where, where you get a nice heavy one up at the top here, very silky, this one down here is very, a lot more coarse. And you can see the colors are a lot darker. There's a lot of, there's a wide variation in the color also. So this one is starting to border on the turning kind of reddish. So. The other thing that's really important between a western and an eastern is the belly. So here's a, here's the uh, one of the biggest things between the sections for trappers to understand is that's an eastern belly, okay? That's a western belly. They can use the bellies on the e on the westerns. They can't really use the bellies on the eastern. So the strips that they make for the, the roughs are going to be cut out of the back. Whereas the strips that they're going to make out of a, a western are the backs and the bellies. So big difference. So again, here's here's a good example between the coarseness of an eastern and the silkiness and the depth of a, of a, of a heavy western. Two different animals. And we almost have like a third one when we have like a central type when they come came in from you know lower end of Kansas, Missouri, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, places like that. That's even a flatter type of coyote. Okay, so just to explain this really quick, this is like a lower end coyote would be in the damage section, could be a damage tree. The market right now is all about roughs on parking, so you're, they're making strips. So when you have obvious rubs out like this, there's not much material when somebody starts trying to cut this up to actually make a strip out of it. The belly's no good, so they can't use the belly. So you've got you know little pieces of fur that you can do it, so that's why these ones sell so cheap and they're not worth a lot of money. I try to tell guys not to bother shipping skins like this. It just, it just, once in a while you might hit a little jackpot and get 15 bucks for it or something, but a lot of times they're $2 and $3 coyotes, and it actually costs you money to ship them here. So this one here, to a trapper that's not really trained, it doesn't really look bad, but it's got no underfur, it's got no finish to it. There's no guard hairs in a lot of spots. It's just, it's just a little strip down the back that's got fur on it. Very woolly, 
not really good for anything. Here's another one that's really poor. Like a coyote like this one, don't even ship it to the auction. It just costs the whole trade money. And I know the hardest part for trappers to understand a lot of times is, is grading, because they don't really understand it. But when you see a really obvious major flaw like that, don't waste your money. Like you did it a favor by killing it, leave it at that. They get mad because they say, well, why did, they, why did the auction house sell my coyote for $2? Well, when you look at some of these coyotes, you can understand because there's basically no, it costs the same amount of money to dress this into leather to make it a fur garment as it does a good one. So are you going to invest money in something like this? You know, if you do, you don't want to have any, hardly any money in it because you, you're, you're going to pay so much in labor to cut it and try and sew something out of it. So it just doesn't work. So skins like this, you know, again, the whole Grotzen is gone. And the Grotzen is this piece right here in the center of the back between the shoulder blades. You know, you can see on this one, it's completely gone. There's no guard hairs left there whatsoever. It, it has very little, if, if any, value whatsoever. You know, the belly's no good. There's a little bit of strips on the thing, but you can't even make a rough out of something like this. Where you might see something like this is on a really poor knockoff uh, part, trying to pretend that it's a kind of a goose type of thing. But the, you know, you'll see the quality right away. You know, here's another one. I mean, the whole, it's the whole strip down the middle of the back is missing. So, no belly, not any back, a little bit of material on the flanks, not worth the money it costs to dress it. So here's another type of coyote uh, color that we get. We call them sometimes red fox red in the catalog. They generally don't bring a lot of money because they're very hard to match, and you don't really get enough skins to really make a big bundle or a big lot. Generally a lot's like 125 to 135 skins. And uh, when you have this kind of color phase, it doesn't really work as well. Uh, it's not that it's not a bad coyote, but I'm a redhead, it's not always in demand. Okay, so another color phase we get in coyotes is, is what we call blacks. Again, we don't really get enough of them to really make it worthwhile. There's a wide variation in the colors, you know, when you talk of jet black, they're almost like a, almost getting into a gray. My suggestion to trappers when they get a black one or a red one is look to see maybe if you can uh, talk to a taxidermist and he might be looking for kind of an odd colored, off colored species that specimen that they might give you better money than shipping it to auction. So I quickly want to go over a couple of uh, handling tips to, to give you an idea of what the auction house is looking for. Okay, so you can cut the back legs off nice and square like that. Take the cartilage out of the ear, it just takes a second once you get good at it. It, it allows it to dry faster, you don't have to worry about uh, taint or whatnot. Okay, these, these legs are kind of scalloped. You can dock them and leave them on the inside. And you see, when you see obvious pieces of fat or, or uh, that's a that's a cockerel. But try to get those out. If there's holes in it, if there's mud on it, if there's uh, blood, dried blood, try to get it cleaned up. Uh, a good way to do it is get a dog slicker brush. That's what I use all the time to brush my stuff. You can uh, brush in a little bit of borax, but brush it all out. Don't leave it in the fur. It's not really uh, healthy to be breathing borax all the day. And some guys go way overboard with borax. Don't do it. Use it to clean up a mess sometimes, but get it, get it all off as best you can. But just to, to quickly summarize it, get the, cut, cut the, the back legs off, front legs left inside, bottom lip cut off. I'll have to flip this bundle over here to show you here. You see how the bottom lift's been docked off? Good to do. You know, get that cartilage off. Get those front legs tucked inside. It presents the belly a lot nicer when the legs are left inside instead of left flopping out. So just a little handling tip. And like you can see in the tail here, there's a bit of blood. You know, if you're only doing a dozen or 30 coyotes or whatever, take the time to get a good dog slicker brush. You know, it's a wired brush. Give it a couple brushes and that all that sort of stuff will come out, uh, come out of there. Just a couple of fur handling tips that try to help you out. 
front legs inside. Bottom lip off. Take a dog's brush and brush all the, any dried blood or whatever. Don't leave it in like that. You can square off the feet like that, no problem. And I always recommend that the feet are opposite of the tail. You know, so the tail goes on one side of the board and the feet are on the other side of the board. You can see how the inner cartilage of the ear has been removed and the ears are pinned flat to the head. He goes on. He is not dropping. He is not dropping. He's not dropping. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. yes, and a lot. 52 have a bit of 118 in the rear. And you have them, Ed? 16. Yes, and back here. And you're back on a lot 55. And you're going on. Okay. Lot 59. Start this one off at 90. 90. I'm a bit of 90. I'm a bit of 90. Oh, oh, oh. 96 and oh, eight, right. 100 yeah. and 2 and 4. I have a bit of 1 oh, and 4 right. and 6 and 8. I have a bit of 1 and 8. Oh, 110. I have a bit of 110. And you answer 110. I have 110. All throughout. Oh, 110. Oh. 12. Yes, I have a bit of 112. Oh, 114. Right. I have a bit of 114. You answer 114. All throughout 114. 